Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do the half up half down top knot and this is like a really popular hairstyle but there are so many different ways to do it so I'm just going to be showing you my personal favorite way to do it and let me just tell you what you're going to need first off. Yesterday, um, yeah I believe it was yesterday, it was like my second day of not washing my hair and I used the Batiste dry shampoo looks like this. I really recommend it. I really like it. I like the smell and it seems to work really well. Like the dry shampoo lasts in my hair for um, at least a few days. So I really like this and I got it at Marshalls for $5.99. So then a couple days before that when I had washed my hair, um, right after I had blow dried it, I put in this Rusk Shining Sheen and Movement Mist and I really like it and I love the way it smells. So I'm just letting you know that this is the product that's in my hair right now and that's helping me to achieve this look. Also, it's been about three days today since I've washed my hair. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is, I like to have my hair parted on the side. You don't have to have it parted on the side. It's totally up to you if you kind of like that look where when your hair's pulled up and it's got a little bit of a part, then part it to the side or the middle, wherever you want. So I'm gonna start taking the hair back from where my eyebrows end. And I'm gonna take the two fingers and I'm gonna go underneath and up like that. And I'm going to be brushing down this hair in the back, any of the excess. I'm going to be brushing through my bangs a little bit. Like that. Just kind of the way I like it. Like so. Then I'm going to take my ponytail and I'm going to wrap it around my hair once. Like that. Twist. And I'm going to start wrapping around this hair and I'm not going to pull all the way through. I'm going to go towards the end and I don't want this hair, this hair that's going to be left out too long. So that's pretty good right there. Then I'm going to put my thumb inside the ponytail and I'm going to twist and I'm going to grab the front again and I'm going to pull the hair through, not all the way, like a flip bun again. So it's like I have two flip buns. You guys see that? So now I'm just going to take this top one and I'm going to tighten it. Like so. And the reason I do that is because my hair is so long and I do want to have a flip bun but with my hair being so long, if I just did one flip bun, it would look really bad because it would be a huge bun and I really don't like that. So that's why I kind of like do a double flip bun technique. So yeah, once you guys get that, it takes a couple times to practice it to really nail it. Once you guys get that, it is a great way to do a flip bun on long hair. So after that, I'm just going to be adjusting it, you know, kind of messing it up a little bit. Um, kind of just getting it the way you want it. I'm going to be taking these... Where, what is this? Yeah, I'm going to be taking these hairs and just pulling them back and down like that. Pulling back like that. And I'm just going to be pulling some hair up in the front to add some volume like that and there you have it that's pretty much the whole hairstyle so this is what it looks like from the side with the hair back so you guys can see and then I'll show you the back this is what it looks like from the back Yep, so this is a super easy hairstyle. I feel like this is a really good hairstyle if you're having a bad hair day because it really doesn't matter what the bottom of your hair looks like. You know, it can be wavy, curly, straight, whatever, and this will look great. Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any requests for any other hairstyles or any other kind of videos that you want to see, you can go ahead and leave them in the comments below, and I will definitely get back to that. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.